Hello, everyone. Welcome to our fourth year of Imagine. I have had the pleasure of welcoming many of you who have attended our live Imagine events in London, New York, Tokyo, and Bangalore. Last year, these four Imagines alone drew more than 8,000 attendees from across the world, which is really gratifying considering just three years before, we had our very first Imagine in Brooklyn, New York, and it drew about 400 people, and we thought that was amazing. This year, like other companies, because of the COVID-19 crisis that continues to grip the world, we have taken Imagine online. But it offers a very compelling opportunity for everyone who wants to learn more about RPA and AI and how it is transforming their businesses. Over the next three days, we expect more attendees than ever before with more than 40,000 registered attendees over the ne just the next three days. Now, before we get started, I'd like to thank our sponsors, especially our premium sponsors. They will be having 30-minute master classes over the next three days where you will be able to gain some really uncommon insights. Our presentation sponsors will also be having some sessions with Automation Anywhere customers. Please don't miss these on-demand sessions. You will gain insights from their experience that you will not find anywhere else. We created Imagine with an important objective from the very beginning, from the very first one. We wanted it to be an experience, not just another event. We wanted to make sure that you had vital information presented in such a compelling way that it simply became memorable to you. Information so valuable and relevant to you that you would be able to dramatically impact your business the moment you return to your office, or in this case, your home office. Expect Imagine Digital to be no different. We have created a new Imagine Digital platform. You're on it right now. Think of this as your Imagine Digital app, if you will, your way of navigating this three-day experience now and beyond. On this platform, you'll be able to experience Imagine from anywhere, on any screen, almost any time. For the first couple of hours today, tomorrow, and the next day, you'll be able to see our streamed keynotes. Today, for example, we're so excited to be welcoming Zach Brown, the CEO of McLaren Racing. Zach Brown has always had a vision that RPA could help them not only become a more competitive racing team, but a more competitive business. Mihir Shukla, Automation Anywhere's Chief Executive Officer and co-founder, will be presenting today his vision, which is always profound. It is clever, it is memorable, and the vision that he paints for RPA um, is something that people have been drawn to again and again. Abhijit Kakande, the Executive Vice President and Fellow of Products and Technology, will do a deep dive into the technology itself. You'll be able to see how simple it really is with demonstrations that you cannot see anywhere else. Kathy Tornbaum, the Vice President of Gartner, will be talking about how RPA, what they call hyperautomation, is quickly becoming the fastest growing technology sector this year and beyond. It's growing 65% year over year. It's amazing. They will be talking about how fit companies will be once they've begun to hyper-automate. And you will not want to miss Riyad Dridi, the Chief Marketing Officer of Automation Anywhere, who will be talking with a group of people about not only the impact of RPA during the time of the COVID-19 crisis, but what customers will be doing differently post-COVID-19. These will be streaming today, but there is a vast array of compelling on-demand sessions as well with more than 25 Automation Anywhere customers, for example. A technology track for people who really value the opportunity to do a deep dive into the technology itself. There will be a product and solution sessions on Thursday, all of it valuable, 
all of it available to you on demand at a time that's convenient for you. Each day of Imagine Digital, today, tomorrow, and Thursday, expect to see the first two hours of fresh streamed presentations. Of course, the tech track will be interactive on Wednesday and Thursday, and if you miss a stream portion, any stream portion, you'll be able to see it on demand when you have the time. This is really the great advantage of Imagine Digital, the most compelling information, the most compelling experience on your terms. We thank you for joining us. We know your time is valuable, and I assure you, we'll make it worth your while. Welcome to Imagine. A race car driver does not win a race alone. Each F1 team is made up of hundreds of team members, including the owners, the commercial directors, technical director, aerodynamicists, chief designer, head of R&D, mechanics, engineers, strategists, management, marketing, and so on. And a game of football is not won by one individual running up and down the field, playing every position, offense, midfielder, defense, and a goalkeeper. It takes an unbeatable team with an unbeatable strategy to win. Hi, I'm Zach Brown, CEO of McLaren Racing. Our partnership with Automation Anywhere, you know, if you look at McLaren Racing, it's seconds count, tenths of seconds count, and ultimately Automation Anywhere in our technology partnership, they're gonna help make us faster, more strategic, and more efficient. Teamwork at McLaren is critically important. We have over 800 people on our racing team. And while we spend a tremendous amount of time and effort on engineering upgrades, developing our race car, ultimately Automation Anywhere is part of our racing team to help us work in total harmony between machine and people to produce the quickest, fastest racing result. Technology partnerships are the most important partnerships in Formula One, it is the pinnacle of motorsport and technology. We develop over 18,000 parts a year. Over 80% of the car changes from the start of the season to the end of the season. The car that's qualified first at the first race of the year, if you didn't touch the car, you'd be last by the end of the year. And that's the rapid pace of development. And so technology partnerships to help us run more efficient, be more intelligent, make smarter decisions are critically important to make a McLaren Formula One car as fast as possible. Automation is essential for a Formula One team's success. Ultimately, you have technology and you have people, and the two have to go hand in hand. We do a lot of repetitive tasks. We need to do them quicker, more efficiently. We need to get data. We need to process that data. We need to reprocess that data and pass it back uh, within the organization. So anything we can do to speed up that process, reduce errors, and rely on technology is very, very important to us. Speed and accuracy is obviously very important in Formula One and very important in it, really in any business. And as we have withdrew from Australia in the middle of March, we've been leaning on technology to help us run our business, communicate with our people, communicate with our partners, communicate with our suppliers. And I think uh, when we come back to racing, we come back to the factory, uh, we've never been more dependent upon technology. And uh, with the limited resources that we're gonna have when we're allowed to come back to the racetrack and we're allowed to come back to the factory, technology is gonna play such an important role and more important role than ever. And that's what we're counting on Automation Anywhere to assist us with. I think what makes Automation Anywhere so important as a partner is they're inside our team and they're part of our team. And as we need to uh, push on our, on our people and push on technology, we're really relying on them to bring those two pieces together so we can be a more efficient, well-run, more educated in our decision-making racing team. So Formula One's gonna enter a new era. We're gonna have a cost cap for the first time. And historically, you could spend whatever you want and we've all been spending too much. And when you're spending a lot of money, you can maybe cover up uh, human errors, uh, lack of efficiency, because you can just use money as a uh, 
way to solve problems. And now with the cost cap, you're going to have of the 10 teams, probably six, seven teams on the same budget. So now what's going to happen is it's going to be who spends their money most wisely, where do you spend your money? How efficient are you? How smart are you? What's your strike rate of success? And this is exciting for McLaren Racing, and that's why it's so important to have partners like Automation Anywhere helping us in that journey. We're expecting them and know they're going to help deliver us working in a smarter, more efficient manner. And that's going to ultimately drive performance and drive us back to the front of the field. Our partners have been incredibly supportive throughout this unprecedented time, not only for McLaren Racing Team, but for the entire world. We're looking forward to working closely with Automation Anywhere this year, and with their help, ensuring we are as efficient and productive as possible for when we get back to the racing track. Hello and welcome to Imagine Digital. Wherever you happen to be in the world, it is a pleasure to have you with us. I sincerely hope that you and your family are safe and healthy. Perhaps in so many ways, we have taken health and safety for granted before this crisis. I truly believe with an unflinching conviction that this too shall pass. We have gone through many crises before, and after each one we have rebuilt. We will rebuild after this crisis as well. I know that I am not alone in this belief. I am pleased to tell you that Automation Anywhere had an excellent 2019. Thanks to you, our business doubled. We grew to a company of more than 4,000 customers in over 90 countries ranging from small and medium-sized businesses to the largest Fortune 500 companies. We have built a vibrant partner ecosystem of over 2,000 partners. In fact, 70% of our booking is partner-driven now. We have built about an 800,000 people strong community of developers, partners, and customers, and we are very proud of the work everyone is doing. Many of you are here with us today, and I thank you for your confidence in us. For every organization, every community, every family, this year has had a frightful beginning. In some ways, it may get worse before it gets better. So far, it has been a year in which the unthinkable has become a reality. The year in which our global economy was brought to its knees like never before. Wherever sense of well-being from a health standpoint and financially were both shaken like no other time in recent history. Only when this crisis is over, we will truly comprehend the full impact. Because of the conviction of our employees, our customers, partners, and investors, Automation Anywhere has been weathering this storm better than most companies. We have been very fortunate. Across 40 countries in which we do business, none of our employees or their immediate families have been become sickened by the COVID-19 virus. We are exceedingly grateful for this. During this time, our focus has been and remains very simple. We do all we can for our customers, partners, employees, and everyone in our community. Very early on during this crisis, we realized that even though the virus was spreading fast, bots could go even faster. We realized we had a capability at our disposal that could help reduce the impact of this global crisis and we were committed to do whatever we could do to help. We immediately created an expanded ecosystem to fuel innovation around COVID-specific bots. We offered free unlimited bot software licenses to community organizations. 
we funded a $500,000 scholarship program at our Automation Anywhere University. This is for the people who wanted to use this time to train or upskill in building bots. We even hosted a large botathon for RPA developers in an effort to create even more bots to help people during this crisis. It made no difference where the bots came from. If they could help, we made it part of our mission. The result, hundreds of bots created by this expanded community. Take the example of a bot that we built for the city of Macau in China. Partnering with Netcraft, we helped build a free, continuously updated community website for the 650,000 citizens of Macau. This website contained information on outbreak hotspot, pricing, and availability of critical supplies like masks, as well as hospital wait times. All of it in real time at bot speed. Our global developer community also created 16 free bot packs, which included, for example, a government ordinance advisory board, bot that is capable of tracking public policy information. There is another bot that identifies local stores with essential items in stocks and keep the frontline medical workers informed. And like that, there are many, many other bots. We have helped wherever we could. Now, let's talk about where do we go from here. I will talk about solutions that can be implemented right away to address our current COVID-19 challenges. And then later on, I will talk about solutions that must be implemented in near term to help business continue. We have identified a number of use cases across virtually all industries that will have an immediate impact on the customer experience in the front office and drive increased resiliency and efficiency in the back office. Regardless of the industry you happen to be in, you will see in these challenges that, that they are similar to the challenges you are probably facing, especially now. In four days, we were able to help a bank in Ecuador to automate the most critical parts of a new loan management process that immediately rescheduled up to 6 million loan records, ensuring that any late payments would not trigger automatic de del delinquencies notices to the credit rating agencies. It saved millions in additional labor cost. But imagine its value to their customers during times like this. Now, you may not be in the banking business, but every business has customer facing front office operations in which so much can be and should be automated. Because after all, we are all in the customer service business. In another example, when an airline was hit with a 700% increase in rebooking and cancellation requests from passengers. This is the time when front office systems and employees were overwhelmed. They use bots to extract ticket information and open the booking and refund application to process requests automatically. The airline was able to process thousands of requests daily without requiring any additional employee support. You may not be in the airline business, but any customer facing operation must be this responsive. We have discovered hundreds of these examples just like this in every industry. These solutions are very timely, especially now when you have an unusually high surge in transaction volumes. Now, let us shift our attention to what absolutely needs to happen over the next four months if we are not to repeat the same mistakes and learn from this crisis. Perhaps the most daunting challenge for companies has been fundamental business continuity. No question, 
The swiftness and the devastating impact of the pandemic caught even the best run companies off guard. But what happens if there is another outbreak? What excuses will we have then? How can we best protect our businesses, our teams, when, not if, this happens again? Before we discuss that, we must understand why we have this kind of risk in the first place. What is the real underlying problem? To understand it, we must understand how work is done today. On average, enterprises have about 1,500 applications, while mid-sized businesses have around 400 applications. Large enterprises often have nearly 3,000 applications. These applications are organized into buckets in any enterprise. There are front office, back office, and employee productivity tools. In the front office, you have a patchwork of hundreds of siloed systems like Microsoft Dynamics and Salesforce that are designed to help engage with customers. In the back office, we have hundreds more systems of record application, like SAP or Workday, that are built to increase business efficiency. And finally, we use hundreds of tools, like Office 365 and G Suite, that helps improve employee productivity. Now, the challenge is twofold. First, none of the front office applications are integrated with each other. None of the back office applications are integrated with each other, and the same is true for all productivity tools. But to make matter worse, front office systems don't talk to back office systems, which don't talk to productivity tools. Leaving you a patchwork of hundreds and sometimes thousands of siloed applications. As a result, employee must bridge the gap between them. The outcome? Take a look at this. Any business process requires countless steps, teams, apps, and sub-processes that slow down the delivery of your product and or services to, to, to your customers. Here, employees are being used as bridges between the applications. This is what Gartner calls a patchwork quilt of enterprise applications. This is the nature of how work gets done today. And it showcases why we have such a high business continuity risk in our business. If there is a second, or God forbid, a third corona outbreak, we will have business disruption. How do we solve this? Intelligent automation is the only way to unify these disparate systems intelligently. RPA and AI together fill in those complex gaps unlike anything we have seen. And today, only Automation Anywhere does this. Only Automation Anywhere can help you automate all your front office processes. It can automate all your back office processes and connect both of them to the employee productivity tools. Eventually, turning the patchwork into a true digital enterprise. You can get started with any process in any part of the organization, front office, back office, or employee productivity. Knowing you can grow into a fully automated enterprises, enterprise and bridge the gap between all of these buckets. This is what Gartner is calling an era of hyper-automation. Gartner analyst Kathy Tonbaum is speaking on this subject during Imagine Digital, and you wouldn't want to miss that. Some people have suggested that automation uh, point solutions are the answer. One automation solution to automate a few front office applications, then another one to automate back office application, and a third offered by a productivity tool company and a fourth RPA tool lookalike tool that is offered by an ERP vendor. Let me share with you without an ounce of doubt, this is not going to work. A single RPA platform is required. 
Islands of apps cannot be connected with islands of automation. You cannot connect silos with silos. You must have a single unified intelligent automation platform. There is no other way. Now, how do we tackle the problem at hand if there is a second coronavirus outbreak? Possibly expected in the fall time frame. What must we do? There is not enough time to solve all of this immediately. But like many of our customers, I encourage you to look at your critical systems. See where the most of the current disruptions was caused during this current crisis. And automate at least 50% of those processes to mitigate the risk before the almost certain future outbreaks. We must do this to protect our customers, businesses, our teams, and our economy. Please don't think for a moment that if every business had been set up to perform this way, we would have all waltzed through this or any other grave world crisis. Certainly not. What I'm saying is that after any storm, we must rebuild. And when we re rebuild, we must rebuild with a fortitude we perhaps didn't have before the storm, with the knowledge that another storm is a certainty. Let this be not the new normal. Let me switch gears and talk about how we have been evolving our platform since we talked last. As many of you already know, for many years, now we have combined the power of RPA, AI, and analytics together to create the industry's most comprehensive automation solution. Earlier this year, we introduced DiscoveryBot. DiscoveryBot allows organizations to automatically discover entire business processes or part of the processes that can be automated. These are the processes which would have otherwise gone completely undiscovered. Discovery bot then can automatically create and deploy bots to automate business processes. Think of this as an automating the automation itself, adding an unparalleled fluidity and speed in automating everything that should be automated. This has been a dream of ours and our customers for many years in the making. Think of this as a bot discovering processes and bots creating bots. We are truly pushing the envelope of the next generation automation solution. We will discover many more details about our platform and all the new capabilities and the dramatic benefit to the enterprises in Abhijit's product keynote immediately following this. The last and probably the most impactful development for our current time is our RPA as a service offering in the cloud. We are seeing businesses moving quickly to respond to the crisis and doing what they can to be better prepared. Many are moving to cloud solutions for the responsiveness and flexibility cloud offers. For the longest time, businesses that were not digital native considered on-premise to be safer. They had total control with on-premise applications and cloud was considered riskier. However, in just last few weeks, that has meaningfully changed. Now on-premise is riskier. If you had cloud solutions, you had better, more reliable business continuity. Cloud solutions offer organizations an amazing ability to scale business operations up or down with an extraordinary immediacy. And cloud-based technology is accessible to everyone from anywhere, including in their homes. Heavily regulated industries reluctant to move to the cloud before are moving whatever they can to the cloud as quickly as they can. Cloud will play an even more critical role in business operation and infrastructure than ever before. Especially in a post-pandemic, 
as enterprises increase their rapid migration to cloud solution, we have made it even easier. In the fall of last year, we introduced what is still the only cloud native and web-based RPA and AI platform, Enterprise A2019. It has introduced an accessibility, scalability, and simplicity so unique, its timing could not have been more apt. Now, implementing RPA in a single office or in a global organization, within the four walls of your enterprise or outside the four walls, including your entire supply chain, could not be simpler or faster. All you need is a browser. And like a true cloud solutions, there is nothing to download. Implementations for a few or a few thousand is more easily achievable than ever. And like any true cloud solution, you should be able to go to a website, log in, swipe a credit card, and provision your solution instantaneously. Well, we are pleased to be the first RPA provider to make this a reality. Starting today, you can go to automationanywhere.com and choose from either our free community edition or cloud starter pack starting at $750 a month and begin your automation journey right away in few clicks. It is as easy as logging in, click and automate. This really is a RPA as a service and it is here now. Given the demands we have seen for the cloud RPA, I am convinced some of you will give it a try immediately. With every crisis comes opportunity. A crisis like this makes great change a most noble aspiration. We fashioned this world, the amazing aspect of it as well as the dreadful. We can redesign it. We must redesign it. I say to us all, let us not go back to normal. There were parts of normal that were not great to begin with. Let us go to a better place. Let us go to the remarkable. As we do, let us create a planet and business that is more resilient, more sustainable, more equitable. Let us design a planet where people in remote places have access to the same level of education as everyone else. Let us create a planet that is less dangerous for people, for families, for animals, and for our communities. As this storm clouds begin to part and we begin to see the radiant of the new horizon, let us learn to look into each other's eyes again with transparency and honesty. Let us embrace one another with kindness and warmth. Let us say hello and it is pleasure to meet you and mean it again. This crisis got our attention. Let us make certain that it captures our imagination as we bring our exceptional power to rebuilding a world as it should be, as we meant it to be. Let us not go back to normal. Let us go to a better place. Enjoy the experience we have planned for you. Thank you.